Hi, I'm Fraser Shaw. Um, I've been coming to Andover Community Church um, with my wife and my two daughters uh, since just before COVID, so around 2019. Um, I was brought up in the Salvation Army um, my whole life. Um, my mum and dad were officers. Yeah, I've always, you know, um, felt uh, that as a Christian, even um, from a tiny age, as far back as I can remember, always went to uh, church three times um, every Sunday and um, it's, just, it's always been a massive part of my life. Um, yeah, so uh, I've been in the army, uh, British army that is, um, for the last 26 years uh, as a musician. So I started off up in Edinburgh as you can probably hear a Scottish accent um, and then moved down south um, for love because I met my wife when um, we were in training um, within the military, so she's also a musician. Um, so I moved down to the south of England then, and I've lived uh, down here for the last 20 odd years. Um, yeah, my daughters, they're 16 and 12. I had to get that right. Uh, so as a family, we like uh, going on walks, we like holidays, I uh, just had a summer holiday just now. Um, personally, um, as most people that know me uh, will testify I, I love football, playing it and mostly watching it as well. Um, my wife Tracy uh, often says that our TV is always green uh, from the grass on the pitch so yeah I, I do love watching football, that's my main hobby. Um, I love rugby as well, not playing it so much but following my team Glasgow Warriors so yeah I love that. There was a time um, when I felt like closest um, that Jesus was you know walking right with me and helping me and that was through the hardest time in my life um, and through the hardest time of Tracy's life as well that was in 2006 um, the year after we'd got married and um, Tracy fell pregnant and uh, we were quite close to um, the time that our baby was due to be born um, when I say quite close, uh, Tracy had gone two weeks overdue, so we were at the 42 week stage. And um, as we turned up for the, uh, to the hospital um, for our baby to be induced that day, um, we were told um, by the doctor that um, our little boy Cameron, his heart had stopped. Um, and yeah, that was a devastating time. But throughout um, that whole period, um, I really felt uh, God close to me and actually carrying me through. I remember at his funeral um, reading uh, the poem Footprints um, about how Jesus carried me through that time. There was one set of footprints and that was his because uh, I couldn't have carried myself through that period. And, um, you know, that's always stuck with me um, through all the hard times that comes in people's lives. Um, certainly in mine, um, I've really felt that that um, through his word and through listening and, and talking to him through prayer um, that, you know, uh, I couldn't do it without him and I really feel his presence there with me. One of the things that I really love about the army is that um, they've got uh, quite, a, there's quite a lot of um, sort of uh, a Christian side um, to the British Army, we've got padres and places where you can go um, to speak to people and to pick up literature and things like that. And I remember when uh, I was on a tour and we were in the Falklands and um, I went to the church and I picked up a New Testament in Psalms. Um, this was a few years ago and uh, I've kept that with me every day and I always read it um, as well as uh, the daily readings. Um, I've started doing the reading plan and I've been keeping to that more over the last few months. And um, through doing that, um, it's really allowed me to get a better understanding of the gospel and uh, the Psalms. And I've really felt um, God close to me through, through doing that and having a more disciplined um, spiritual life and reading more and just getting um, totally absorbed in, you know, his word. So within Psalm 119, 
uh, verse 105, it says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. His word is my lamp. You know, it's becoming clear to me um, on my daily life that I need, I need Jesus um, with me through that whole, through every day and everything that I do. So as well as the literature that I picked up through the army, um, belonging to the church here uh, in Andover, um, and quite often they uh, advertise some books. One of them was The Air I Breathe, um, Worship as a Way of Life. Um, I really got into it and, it, you know, I, it's just, it was amazing the thing, the feelings that I was having as I was reading. No one else can give God the unique affection that only you and he can share. Our lives are on loan from God and a sacred trust of opportunities and decisions. And um, that's why I've decided that I want to, you know, make a public step in being baptised today. Also, another book um, that I've got is one that's um, getting passed out at the minute to new Christians within the church. Um, and it's the Bible, a story that makes sense of life. It says, as science enlarges our understanding of the scale of the universe, it is mind boggling. To get a sense of perspective, imagine we shrank the entire Milky Way down to the size of North America. According to that scale, our solar system, the Sun, Mars, Venus, etc., would be the size of a coffee cup and planet Earth, a mere bubble spinning round inside. And, um, you know, that really spoke to me and made me think, you know, how, I mean, that's just unimaginable, the size uh, of our universe and God's creation. And he actually knows me by name and he cares for me. And that's just incredible. So I'd like to take this opportunity to thank mum and dad in, in particular um, for their support and guidance through all the years. They've had a massive uh, role within my Christian life um, as I've grown up. and. Um, watching them and listening to them preaching, uh, talking about, you know, their Lord and Saviour. Without them, I don't think I would have come to realise um, Jesus as my Saviour. My dad said, as I was deciding whether baptism was right for me, um, he said, you know, it's an outward sign of an inward change. And um, that's how I really feel. Yes, it is a bloodstained cross but it's a wonderful cross. In fact, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. The cross of Christ is a cross of healing, a place of unconditional love, a place of sweet embrace. From his, his cross comes salvation's song, declaring to all that redemption is here. From it flows forgiveness free. The cross of Christ is a place of peace. And it's such a relief to know that it doesn't matter what I what I do. I don't have to be perfect and I'm far from it. But Jesus died for my sins and because I love him and that I believe that he's my Christ, my Saviour, and um, he died for me. And um, there is no greater message. My name is Fraser Shaw and my belief in Jesus has changed everything. <laughs>